give him a sound of worship. And I will go to the house. 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 And I will go to the house.
and sing it together. Honor we is the God full of mercy. Leave us all and from January to November of our land. He kept you alive is all by his mercy. Your 
Ministers here ready to minister to so us. Shout hallelujah! Shout hallelujah! As I said earlier, you need to be hoping, you need to be expecting because God will do a great thing. Believe He's capable of doing it. He has done it before, He never stopped doing it, and He will do it in your life tonight in Jesus' name. Amen. Amen. Praise the Lord. Please be seated. I want us to know tonight is a great night. It's a special night. Our guest ministers are here. All of them. Minister Prudence is here. Shout hallelujah! Minister Sigbert is here. Shout hallelujah! 
and our own, our very own, our very own, our own, own, own. Evangelist Uche is a shout, hallelujah! Shout, shout, shout! Before, as they get in set, I'd like to tell us a few things about our church. As I said earlier, I keep hammering it. Our father here hmm, is a special man. I'm telling you, he's a special, special man. I personally could say that he's a special, special man. Not just man of God. He's a friend of God. You know, we have so many ministers of God. He's not just a minister of God. He's a God himself. If you believe, he shout hallelujah. I know some of our new people will say, what is this man saying? Wait till you see. Wait till you see. If you see what, a, what God can do through a man, then you know that that man is a God. That is the person we have here. That is what we are enjoying here. And that's why we are saying, join us. Join our service. We have Sunday service, 8 a.m. every Sunday. Always a wonderful service. Is it the word? You will open your mouth and you will not be able to close it. Is it the praise and worship? You will dance. You will dance. And next Sunday, if they tell you, are you going to church? You will say yes. Before I joined this ministry, I stayed at home for six years. I said, nothing could make me go to any church. That I'm tired. I don't want to go to any church again. Then my wife said, let's try this place. Let's try this place. And I said, okay, let me try it. And my brother and sister, my people, ever since I tried this place, ever since I tried this place, not just my life being transformed, my family life became transformed, even my own family could see it within me. That this person is a changed man. I pray for you this night that the same experience I have, the testimonies I have, yours will be bigger in Jesus' name. We're still work, waiting for our minister, our guest minister, Minister Prudence, as they are setting up. Also, we have our Wednesday service. Wednesday service is always power packed with the word. You see, sometimes you pray, 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 you pray, you pray, you pray. You pray but all you need is just one word. I received mine. I received mine. One word of God just jumped into me one Wednesday service. And ever since, I'd never remained the same. I was always looking for those, that word then to jump into me again. Because that word transformed my life. It was just one Wednesday service. Opened my eyes to a new thing. Opened my eyes to God. I said, wow, this is it. I've been listening to this it was just one verse of the Bible. And I've been listening to this different, trans, uh, uh, different, trans, different interpretations of this particular verse. And when my man of God came and showed me a new way, a new meaning to this thing, and I grabbed it, I held on to it, and I'm still flying with it. I pray the word of God will jump to you. This one that you fly with for the rest of your life. In Jesus' name! Still waiting for our ministers. We also have some special programs. So join us. We get that regularly. And I still want to talk about our social media handle. Our Twitter handle. Our Facebook pages. Um, our um, Instagram page. We also on Telegram. We have a WhatsApp group that you can join and enjoy these daily ministrations, these daily words from our man of God, the messages from the church, you can also join us live. You can like, share. If you enjoy this night, you can send this to other people. Say, join this particular live service. We are live for now. Praise the Lord. We are live now. Praise the Lord. So if you are online and someone is not able to make it here tonight, just tell them to join us online.
das kanti valasu maru phala sande halamandes in sikan siteliva maku sata e fata 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 e <laughs> Jehovah, ah, Jehovah, Jehovah. Jehovah, eh, Jehovah, my Eli. My healer, restore I. Yeah. Restore I. Restore Lift your voice and say Jehovah Yes Lord Jehovah, we are here for you, O oh God. Let your presence go. Jehovah, yes, Lord. Mari mo si kramba ko la baba hori anderia. Jehovah, my Eli. Be a heavy downpour 
of God's healing to the world. Lift up your hands. There will be a no. There will be a of God's healing in this place. How many of you believe that? Lift up your hands. God's healing today. Yes, Lord. Yes, Lord. Rigada Sati Parata. Parada Balasipra. Yes, Lord. And just from my from my right hand side. Yes. 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 Yes, Father. Yes. 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 We have not just come to receive. But we have come to pour ourselves as living sacrifices. Hoping to, uh, hoping to be acceptable in your sight. Hoping to be acceptable. Will we will not come to just receive from you. But to be used by you, oh God. I'm available. I'm available. Oh, use me. Use me, oh Lord. This should be your heart cry, right? I'm available. I'm available. Oh, use me, use me, oh love. I'm available, I'm available. Sing that from your heart. I'm available. Sing that from your heart. The Lord is crying his bride. Oh, use me, use me, oh God. Use me, oh God. Sing God.
you to understand what you are saying you see the Lord only needs a man's availability for expression and you asking him to use you is for expression an expression of his will is the best thing a man can do for God I want you to understand what you are declaring use me Use me for a dispensation like this. For a prophetic dispensation like this. Use me. Use me. That I will not just be a spectator. But a refined vessel. Acceptable in your sight. Pray that prayer now. Just begin to pray that prayer now. Use me, Jesus. Ridigo Sibaradeko. Manalo Sibaradeko. Pray that prayer from your heart. Use me, Jesus. Riku Pali Kalamado. Lima Mosima Mande. Hey, Riku Balado. Yes, 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 yes. Yes, yes, yes. yes. Yes, Lord. After a man is being used or has been selected, he needs fire. He needs fire. Fire, 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 fire. Lika papa papo. Asina man tela. And that same fire at the day of the Pentecost into Silicata with a raging force. With a raging force. That same fire. Do not look at me. That's a fire. That's a fire. With the power that raised Jesus from the grave. That's a fire. That's a fire. That's a fire. That's a fire.
This is the prayer point. Kappa, yes. Holy Ghost, you are the fire in my bones. Oh, 
receive the fire now. Raise your hands. Raise your hands. On the left, receive it. Holy Ghost. You are the fire. I want you to walk victoriously now because you have been ignited. Just look at how I walk. E kapa pass, e kapa le kapa ya. Usasasema, e le te 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 te. If you can't pray in the Holy Ghost, sing this song. Fire, 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 fire. E la kapa. Go, 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 go. Se me me mato se atapaya te. E kapa ya se ka. E le te 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 te. Fire, fire, fire. Fire, fire, fire! Oh, mama, my top of the You can jump, you can jump, you can jump. Fire, 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 Just release your hands on your chest. In my heart, come feel the vacuum in my life. Ah, Father, my Lusa, Kitusi, my Lipo, my Handy, Owen Silica. But I behold this once. Come feel the space in my heart. Come feel the vacuum in my life. Ahe, 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 ahe. Did you get the lyrics? I'll go one more time. Come feel the space in my heart. Come feel the vacuum in my life. I I I I I I Come feel the space. Feel the space.
Savas. Holy God, you the fire in my bones, from my mouth to my bones, from my bones to my flesh, from my head to my soul. Fire, fire, fire. Tonight is the last chance for them. They've decided that if it doesn't happen today, they will kill themselves. Some persons here, I'm not here to speak so much, but I need you to understand what we are thinking about. These are prophetic songs. And as much as you release from your mouth, as much utterance, as much declarations, the Lord does it immediately in this meeting. We need you now. Oh, we want you now. Where do you need him? Canting to Nika Nakate. Sweet Elaba. And Telemondes and Chila Nakuntele. We need you now. Oh, oh, oh. 
There's about to be an outpouring now of the Holy Ghost. If you desire the gift of the Holy Ghost, this few minutes is an opportunity. It's going to come with troubling seas, staggering seas, troubling waters from your inside. That river, it's coming. It's coming. And when it comes, just utter those words. It may sound like gibberish, but utter them. Can you talk? Intentina, Lisa Panekovica, King Talamon from Vatican, and Sam Ruka Liga, Papa Kadi, Simina Kavodia, and Soneko Rika, Holios, Anoit, the Baraita, Raja, fill them with the fire, for some of you it is fresh fire, Papa Mika Kikulo, Adema Masi, Saman de Moloko, Saman de Moloko, Kali Kapa. glory will arrive he will arrive King Jesus is coming he's coming he's coming in a cloud of glory he's coming with his chariots he's coming he's coming he's coming and there will be a sound of victory there will be a sound of victory alas Alas, the remnants, Kina Nakuri, Salemos, yes, 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 humanity will experience it, humanity will experience it, when the heavens will kiss the earth, oh, it will be a grand renewal, a grand reunion, Hila Sila Moria, Hala Sebenaka, this body of yours we will no longer be important. Ha 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 ha! He's coming! Ha ha! King of glory! We are opportune to herald you! To herald your coming! Kusama Ranata! Let your kingdom come! And let your will be done! Make us! Make us! Make us! Make us so God. That we will not be surrounded with the issues of life and miss you. Behold, the King arrives. Behold, the Lord of the armies. have a mantle bring it out you have a mantle a handkerchief whatever just bring it out just bring it out and begin to wave it begin to wave it bring it out bring it out bring it out, bring it out. there will be a release of anointing on all those handkerchiefs 
there will be a release of anointing. Behold the King of Yeshua Mashiach. Yeshua Mashiach. to release the atmosphere for miracles I release thank you Jesus just close your eyes this moment is between you and Jesus now Salim close your eyes let what you've received begin to circulate. I release the atmosphere for miracles. 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 I release the atmosphere for miracles. Miracles. I will the atmosphere for wonders, many wonders, many wonders. I will the atmosphere for miracles, miracles, miracles. I will. The atmosphere for miracles, miracles, miracles. I will be the atmosphere for miracles, miracles, miracles. In our midst, right here, in our midst. Right here in our midst, right here in our midst, in our midst, right here in our midst, right here in our midst, right here in our midst. I want you all to be receptive, be receptive for what God is about to do through the man of God. Be receptive. 
be receptive. Be receptive. Be receptive. From the Father's cause, let it flow. Let it flow. Let it flow. From the Father's cause, from the Father's heart. The atmosphere of miracles, the atmosphere of wonders, let it flow, let it flow, let it flow. Very quickly. Permit me a few minutes to release the sound of the shofar. receptive as every ancient gate is lifted up every ancient gate is about to be lifted up just be very receptive that's the last thing I will do before I leave you I want you to scream one word at every blast of the shofar. You scream the word Epata. And Epata means open up. Open up. It might mean the heaven over you. Open up. It might mean the closed everlasting doors. Open up. Scream it with anchor. Open up. Yes. I am not home. <laughs> Jesus, thank you, Father. Hallelujah. Thank you, Mary. Hallelujah. This is the power of God. He, you can experience the move. You can experience the power. The wonderful works of God. As concerning us today, the Lord is here. He is here. Just be hoping He is here. Be receptive. He is here. Hallelujah. 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 Um, as we await. The arrival of our next um, guest minister I want us all to just 
remain expectant. The power of God is here mightily. Mightily. And I'm also excited because my father is here. Shout hallelujah! Mom is also here. Pastor Ada is here. Thank you so much. Thank you so much, Ma, for your care, for your love, for your teaching, especially for me. Your nurturing. As you've, you're training us in a new way, in a new dimension, I thank you so much. I say, the hand of the Lord that is upon your life will be spread afar and abroad and upon all of us in Jesus' name. As we await, as I said earlier, as we await our next guest minister, how one, one of our own to come minister to us. Our in-house minister, this sister, has so blessed me that each time she sings, we have good, great ministers. I have these goosebumps rising all over me. She's special. She's wonderful. Please let us welcome Sister Shinoso. Sister Shinoso, be blessed, be open. She is wonderful. And God has worked great things through her. Please, Sister Shinoso. We just lift up our hands this morning. The presence of the Lord is in this place. Ashanda kaprada daba shata kaprando shat zela ba kapanda ba 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 shata. His presence is heaven to us. Shene kumbra ata kapara daba shata. Heaven is open as it pours down. Ashina kumbra teka sote. Shene kapara daba daba kusha taka paga daba. Embra tama mama mama kusote kepolo. Your presence is heaven to me. Your presence is heaven to me. Ara kumbra daba kusha taka paga baradas. Come on, mama, mama, shanty. Your presence is ever to me. Ashina Kapra Dadadas. Your presence is ever to me. Shana Kamana. All my days on earth are wheeled away. The moment that I see you face to face, we need to see Jesus face to face tonight. All my days on earth are wheeled away. Ayah kapayada. The moment that I see you face to face. Nothing in this world can satisfy. I come on, I'm on my But Jesus, you're the cup that one won't dry. I understand. All oh, my days are now a will away. Yeah. The moment that I see you face to face. Your presence is ever to me. Come on, lift your voice. Your presence, your presence. Yeah. Your presence is ever to me. For who is like your love? Much my love and beauty in this world. Yes, nothing in this world can satisfy. Mm -hmm. Jesus, you're the cup that won 
Just lift up your hands, king into that word. Then only you can do, only you can do, only you can do. Eshana kama na makiso kama ya. Erebo shana kaba ya bade. Ewa mama mama si kaba ya da ba 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 ba. Ripa na kaba ya ba ko. Sele me kepe le me kepe je. Seba na me pobre e kapa na na mama mama. Ma kapa na na mama mama. Shana kepe le le le. Le pre le pe le pe ko si ta ya. Eshana esh. Eshana esh. In your presence, in your presence, Lord, I love to be. Oh, yeah. In your presence. In your presence, in your presence, Lord, I love to be. Oh yeah, in your presence, in your presence, in the presence of our King. In the presence of the Lord, every mountain melts like rocks. Every impossibility of situation is made possible. Yeah. Yeah. For in your presence, 
you came with this morning but there is nothing he cannot do there is no impossibility without God is there anything too hard for him to do stand amazed in your presence there is nothing you cannot do stand amazed in your presence there is joy peace and love mm. there's no one like you Jesus there's no one like you in all the earth there's no one like you, Jesus. Nobody else, no one like you. You don't mind a thing. You the glorious thing. Oh, you're a faithful God.
glory and honor and power forever and ever unto the Lamb who's seated in the place to win the glory and honor and power forever and ever unto the Lamb who seats upon the throne to him be glory and honor and power forever and ever. to just put your hands together for Jesus no 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 for Jesus I mean for Jesus I mean for Jesus 
Give him a shout, give him a shout, give him a shout. Tell him, Lord, I thank you. Now, you know what? First, there were a couple of prayers. Can you hear me? If you can hear me well, wave your hands. Wow, thank you. If you know you can hear me effectively, wave your two hands, your two hands. Wow, thank you. Now jam them for Jesus. <clears throat> now listen to me. Before, before the Friday, we have been fasting and praying and talking to the Lord about the program. Then, we had asked the Lord that he would grant us a favorable weather condition. Then you know, within the week, it began to rain. And some people had little doubt and questions. Lord, I hope it won't rain on that day. So I said, the Lord had said Thursday and Friday that it won't rain. Now, the Lord answered that prayer. There's no rain. So the first thing I promised him and I said I was going to do when I climb here is to thank him. That every one of us will lift up our hands and just say thank you for holding the rain. Thank you for giving us a good favorable weather condition. Can we do that right now? Can we lift our hands? If you're sitting down, why don't you stand up? I know you've been sitting for some time. But just stand on your feet and lift your two hands and say, God, thank you. Thank you for answering our prayers. Thank you for granting us favorable weather condition. Thank you. No one would have done it except you. Thank you. And because of that, we are so appreciative in our hearts. And we thank you, O oh God. We bless your name. We magnify your name. You are worthy to be praised. Thank you. Thank you. Faithful God. Holy, holy, holy is your name. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Before we sit down, I want to especially thank um, our guest. I just saw Evangelist Uche walked in now. All right. Thank God. It's my first time of meeting, seeing Prudence. Um, Minister Prudence, I want to thank you and your team for finding time to be with us. Thank you so much. We love you. Please put upon me if there's any little hitches and blames you see. Just put it on me. I have, I have the thick skin to bear anything. Put it upon me and just forget about the lapses, but just put it upon me. And I also want to thank Sing Praise. Wow. Thank you so much and your team. Thank you for coming. Also put the same. If you notice anything, lapses, blames, put it upon me. Because everything rises and falls on leadership. Put it upon me. But I believe that we'll get better by the day. So thank you for, for your time. Thank you for the worship. It was good. It was good. It was good. Now, I know that there are ministers of the gospel in our midst. Pastors, prophets, apostles, teachers, evangelists that are hiding somewhere. You don't want to be noticed. Um, I also want to say thank you for finding time to come fellowship with the brethren. You are welcome. We may not know you, but the Holy Ghost does know you. So you are welcome in Jesus' name. Help me give three people a high ten. And say you are welcome. You are welcome. Glory to God. How many of you know God is faithful? If you know God is faithful, wave it. Now, I know that many of you were 
you've been anticipating when is pastor going to come up <laughs> it's not me really Jesus has a lot to give you tonight There's something I used to tell him. You have a track record of keeping your words. And you're not about to stop doing. Ah. Are you there? Are you sure you're here? You have a track record of keeping your words. And you're not about to stop to be ah. You have a track record of keeping your words I want you to just meditate on that, meditate on it It, it won't get to your turn and stop No, it won't get to your family's turn and stop you have a track record of keeping your words and you're not about to stop doing it ah. you have a track record of keeping your words and you're not about to stop doing it hey Ah, oh Lord, I buy it. She be one of for you. left for you. Ah, you are engineers. Some are not learned like me. Maybe you're a farmer. You do carpentry job. Or maybe you're a bus conductor. Or you're even a driver. Jesus had no class. The Bible calls him the God of all flesh. The God of all flesh. So there's a message or maybe you're a minister of the gospel there's a message there's something he wants me to share and I want you to give me your attention like he says in the book of Proverbs my son give me your attention like he demands for it that's the only way God is going to perform a miracle or bring a change in your life. Give me your attention. I know the pain is there. I know you feel somehow. But give me your attention. Don't allow these few hours remaining to be a waste. Give me your attention. God has sent Pastor Bina with a message for you and I. There is something unique about this message. And I bet you, if you would give me attention and listen to it with all of your heart, it will send a message into your heart. Lift your right and say, Lord. The Bible tells us he was able to path in into a higher conversation between God and spirits. And he had something. There was a message. God was conveying a message to Israel through the prophet Isaiah. And it says in Isaiah chapter 3, chapter 1 verse 3. If you read verse 1, he was talking about vision. It says, the vision of Isaiah, the son of Amos, which he saw concerning Judah and Jerusalem. In the days of Uzziah, Jotham, Ahaz, Hezekiah, king of Judah. So, this guy saw something. Not only did he see, he also heard something. So, what did he see and what did he hear? Verse 3. It says, the ox knoweth his owner take notice of that the ox knoweth his owner and the ox his master's creed but israel doth not know me my people doth not consider me this is god speaking he says as the creeds as you find the ox he knows the owner that means just like you know and see dogs and they know their owner 
and you see cats and they know their owner he says israel does not know me he says my people have not considered me today as we look around us we see churches here and there in our great country in our nation nigeria in africa in europe the churches they are dwindling they are going down in america the people who brought us the gospel are gradually shying away from the gospel but africa still holds it and i tell you something in the calendar of god africa has something very prominent to do in the last days and that's why you need to celebrate god that you are from this continent praise god he says but israel does not know me as i look around today is saturday we're already in saturday tomorrow is sunday you're going to find a lot of people going to church especially in our country we are tagged and rated as the number one most religious nation in the world which means everybody in this country believes god one way or the other churches everywhere people call upon god but sadly god is saying the people you see going to the house of god and the nation tag the most religious in the world the people do not know me it is very funny that a lot of people do not know god a lot of people do not know god we carry our bibles just to prove to people that i'm also a christian a bible is not what qualifies you to be a christian being a pastor is not what qualifies you to be a christian god is saying that his people does not know him and when he's talking about not knowing him he's talking about having the precise complete knowledge of his person how many people truly know god in our day and time in the book of hosea chapter 4 verse 6 you know what it says it says my people are destroyed for the lack of knowledge because they do not know me they suffer which means ignorance or the lack of the knowledge of god you're not knowing God equals to your suffering in life. You will suffer when you don't know God. You will suffer. You will go through a lot. Especially if you are from the continent of Africa. It is possible. You know Fela sang one song those days. Suffering and smiling. That's exactly what we are going through right now. We are going through that's 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 the picture but someone might argue and say what about those living in europe they don't know god just like we do but yet they are not suffering that's what you think david david the man who wrote the book of psalms he said he was almost he almost fell into the trap when he saw sinners who do not pray like he prayed when he saw sinners who do not fast like he fasted when he saw sinners who did not go to the house of God like he did went and he saw them prospering and he himself is not he said I almost fell have you found yourself in that shoes have you been there before you look at some of your cousins family members friends that you graduated together with and they are doing very well and you have a big Bible and all you can show is that you know Psalm 23 verse 1 the Lord is my shepherd and you are not shepherded there's nothing tangible and sometimes you feel like dropping this bible and just proving that you know you know what's up like a guy told me a brother told me said you know the bible doesn't stop me from being in the street i said what do you mean by being in the street he said street now i said but here right now where we're standing is in the street he said pastor you won't understand you are a pastor i know what i mean by being in the street I said, so does it mean that I can't be in the street? He said, he laughed. He said, no, sir, you can't be in the street. If you be in the street, who will be the pastor? And that guy supposedly goes to church. 
David said, I almost missed it. He said, until I went to the house of God and I saw their end. Their end. He said, when I saw their end, I went back to God and I said, thank you, Father, for not allowing me to go in the ways of, this, of these sinners. It's not enough to sit down here and listen to all the songs, sing the ones you know, hum the ones you don't know, wave your hands and shout it, and lift your hands. Partly you sleep, partly you wake up. It's not enough. He wants you to know God. God wants you to know Him. He wants you to know Him. This knowledge is not in all men. There are people who think they know God. Have you met people who you think? You just think they know God. And when they go through things, you fully discover that these guys don't know God. Because there are certain qualities. There are certain attributes. There are certain character. You see in the man, the virtue you see in the man that knows God. Hallelujah. There are certain things you see in him. Glory to God. I said glory to God. There are certain things you see in them. Help me ask your neighbor. Do you know God? That's what I came to share with you today. The title is Knowing God. It's brief, but it's powerful. He wants you to know him yourself. In 1 Timothy chapter 2, this is Paul writing a letter to his young pastor son. 1 Timothy chapter 2, verse 3 and 4. He says, in verse 3, he says, For this is good and acceptable in the sight of God our Savior. What is good? Verse 4. Who will have all men to be saved? Comma. God wants all men to be saved. Comma. And the B part says, and to come to the knowledge of the truth. Not only does he want you saved, he wants you to know him. He wants you to know him. Not only does he want you to go to church, he wants you to know him. God wants you to know him. If there's one thing you're going to do for yourself today, and you will hold on to that, is to carry the knowledge of God. To know God. You're going to see some things he does. It's important you know God. How many of you know it's possible to sit in a class where a teacher is teaching and you don't understand what he's saying? Has it happened to you before? Wave it if it has happened. Olodo. Ajo dear Mowe. You sit down there and the man is teaching and he says, do you understand? You will nod your head. <laughs> hey, you, X plus Y equals to Z. <laughs> you just look, find X. Somebody just say, why, why am I finding X? X will be on his own. I'm on my own. If 2x equals to z and z equals to y and y equals to 3, find z. Oh God, z should stay and I stay. There's no problem. So it is possible to sit in the class, the man is teaching, and you don't know it. And yet you nod your head and when he asks, do you understand? You say yes, just for him to leave. Which means it's also possible for you to sit in the church. You attend church services regularly for 20 years, 25 years and don't know God. In Africa, in Africa, there are two ways people as know God. Two ways. Very popular. I'm going to show it to you. It is passed from one generation to the other. Number one, write it. Assumption. What is an assumption? 
it's a statement that is assumed to be true and from where a conclusion can be drawn that's an assumption it's one way people claim to know god they assume look around you do you know do you know that if we hadn't prayed and brought our strong reasons before god this is very important follow me brought up strong reasons before god concerning the weather if it had rained on friday and probably rained and continued to rain there are people who would say maybe it's the will of god because if god does not want it to rain it wouldn't have what rained assumption huge assumption they don't know the will of god so they assume you're going to the office because assumption is the mother of all superstition you didn't hear me assumption is the mother of all superstition because they don't know they assume that this thing is true superstition enters into it you're going to the office you dash your foot against the stone you say no this is a bad sign so i will go back and you go back there's a huge contract waiting for you but because you live by assumption and superstition you missed it and you say well if god had wanted me to gain it i would have gone i wouldn't have hit my feet against the stone but you know what that's a huge lie that's a huge lie there are many of us here right now who have questions in our heart as to why certain things happen or certain people and certain events happen in their lives that they don't have answers to and you go to certain ministers or your parents and they just assume that this is it an assumption is the lowest you don't know god by assumption you cannot know god by assumption you don't live by assumption but there are many people who live by assumption if god wants me to have it i will have it if he doesn't want me to not to have, i will not have it i still want to say this and i even though a lot of people have criticized me for it and i've said a lot of things about it did we not pray about the last election did the church not pray did we not fast did we not shout yet it never worked and someone is asking does it mean that god never heard our prayers he heard our prayers but did he see our principles because it's a different thing for god to hear your prayers it's another thing for God to see your principle. What are you acting upon? So you can't assume. You don't assume. You can live in assumption. A lot of people live in assumption. And assumption destroys life. Because there's no precise true knowledge in assumption. You, don't, you are not accurate in assumption assumption is guessing you guess is kalo kalo that's exactly what it is is baba jebu is naira bet on monday you might win and on tuesday you lose that's assumption give me two 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 that's assumption you're not sure god wants us to approach him being sure knowing fully well who he is and what he's able to do how many of you know god can heal no how many of you know god can truly heal how many of you believe he still heals today are you sure 
it is only in africa that i see that that answer is not accurate we believe that god can heal we attest to the fact that god can heal but the moment he begins to heal we say it's, the, it's not god this is satan how can he do his hand like this and he heal how can he do his leg like this and he heal you are like Naaman. Who told the prophet how he must heal him? He said, I thought he was going to come out, call upon his God, and strike the place. But because of the simple instruction, go and dip yourself in the river seven times and come out. The guy assumed that this is not God. This cannot be God. There are many people who do not know God and yet they want to teach God how to be God. Tonight, or this morning, we have some people who are sick. And I tell you, God is already in, ever in the business of healing people. There is no ceasing. We are past John chapter 5, where the angels come to stare the water. Seasonally. Now, we are in the time where God does it anytime, so long as you are ready to receive it anytime. That means, I give you an assurance, you are not leaving this place the same way you came. Put your hands together for him. Do you know the confidence it will give your child? Do you know the confidence it will give your generation? To present a God, the God of now, who does not change or who does not prolong or postpone things. Do you know what it gives? But assumption is the killer of modern day miracles. Assumption kills. It has destroyed the knowledge of God in the heart of people. They assume. And once they get to the place of the assumption and that thing does not happen, then they say maybe God does not want it. So we need to deal with assumption. If you will know God, you don't know God by assumption. That's number one. The second way people in Africa know God, number two, is by rumor. I tell you something, each time I read the book of Job, I tell you Job is from Africa. When I, I can trace where that guy is from. The Bible says he's the richest from east. From the east. That means the guy is from Monitor. Hello? I'm telling you. And when you look at the character of that guy, he acts like people from the east. He offers sacrifices for sin not yet committed. Haven't you seen them guys in the east? They build houses and they won't enter there for five years. They've not returned. That's offering sacrifices you know you don't need. The Bible tells us something about Job. He knew God by rumor. Job chapter 42 and verse number 5. Job 42 and verse number 5. Am I helping somebody tonight? Or this morning, sorry. Job 42 verse 5. In the King James version it says i have heard of thee by the hearing of the ear it says but now my eye see it thee if you read it in the message translation the message translation of job chapter 42 verse 5 you know what it says i admit i once lived by rumors of you now i have it all firsthand from my own eyes and ears it is like somebody coming to tell you, do you know? Do you know that God can call down fire from above? You say, eh? You run. You go to the village and you tell people, do you know that God, God can call down fire? Have you seen it? Are you sure about it? Who told you? There was a story in the book of John chapter 9. The Bible tells us of a blind guy. He was begging by the side. And this time, to show you the, these people, the disciples of Christ, they also lived, they had this form of rumors too. The Bible says Jesus was coming with his disciples, 12 of them, plus Jesus 13. And they came across this guy that was blind, and they said, uh -huh. Peter said, uh -huh. sir, I have a question. Thank God for this opportunity. They were looking for an opportunity to discuss something, and they asked the question. He said, sir, 
This guy was born blind. He said, yeah. Uh -huh. Who did sin that he came blind? Is it his parent or the guy? Do you know why they ask that question? The Jewish culture have a belief that if a child is born disabled, it's either the child or the parents have committed a sin. What a belief. What a stupid belief system. That a child not yet born, haven't done nothing. Yet have, they have labeled the child to have done something. So they believe that that boy or that guy that was blind, was blind because of his own effort, his own errors. So they ask Christ, if it's not the guy, then it must be the parent. That's the normal belief. Is it not the same thing in our world today? There was a time. A rumor spread somewhere around Oshudi. A baby was born with something in his hand. They said, God sent that baby with a message. And people were going to the baby. The baby was looking at them. And I'm like, ah, ah. What kind of life is this? Rumor. Everybody that heard was going to the baby. So that the baby would talk. And baby does not talk. The baby was looking. The baby was looking. Because nobody sent the baby. Jesus said, Neither did the parents sin, nor the guy. If it's home video, they'll do gang gang. Wow. So the parent did not sin. The guy did not sin. So why was he born blind? And Jesus said, listen. The hour is come that I am work the works of God. For the time cometh where no one will walk. So long as I'm in this world, I remain the light of the world. He was telling them, the guy who did that thing is the one you don't see called the devil. That's the work of the devil. So now we know that some of the child, like you know some days back, mom came back and was telling me of this twin that they gave birth to. And they came out with their intestine, one intestine, holding the two of them together. And the, the doctors are trying to run around, you know, they want to operate so that the child, they, they can leave. And, and I said, because she had this knowledge, I said, so what is the explanation? She said, you know, these things are all satanic. I said, kudos, that, that's right, that's the knowledge I need. Because don't tell me that God intentionally gave two babies one intense time. To prove what? What is he proving? A child is born and the child cannot walk. And you say God made the child to be lame. To prove what? What is the essence? You see, when man cannot explain the ordeals that life gives to them, they tag it. They give it a tag that this is God. It is the will of God. And they tell you, you don't question those way. It's the mystery. It's a mystery. I came to demystify that mystery. It's not a mystery. That is you living by rumors. God is not the author of wickedness. He does not give children, twins, with one intestine. No way. God does not kill children. You live by rumors. It's there. We saw it. Job said, I have lived by rumors all this while. So, assumption and rumors are two major killers of the knowledge of God in the lives of people. There was something Paul said. Paul was passing through a city in Acts chapter 17 and verse number 23. I will read it to you. Acts 17, 23. One of the things I've also faced in my life as a preacher is to debunk many false teachings a lot of erroneous things that people have said over the years and we hold on to it i don't know god by rumors i do not know god by assumptions i know god in acts chapter 17 verse number 32 paul the bible says was passing and he said thank you jesus 
Verse 23, sorry. Acts 17, 23. For as I passed by and beheld your devotions. Another word for devotions, there's the word religiosity. As I beheld your religiosity. I found an altar with this inscription. They have different altars. Then he saw one that they also wrote something. And it is called to the unknown God. They also worship the unknown God. But how they worship that unknown God, I don't know. Because you, if you worship an unknown God, you don't know the God. That means you will not know how to give him the worship he deserves. Because already it's unknown to you. So you don't know whether he eats yam. You don't know whether he drinks pepper soup. There are gods that drink oil. There are dogs. There are gods they give roasted yam to. Are you with me? There are gods they give shinab. There are gods that take fanta. They have all those things. Then they have one that is called the unknown god. You know what Paul said? He says that one that you call the unknown god. Whom therefore you ignorantly worship. Him declare I unto you. Which means this guy came to show them the revelation of the unknown god. I came today to show you the revelation of the unknown God. When you know this God, I tell you, your limitations will be taken off. There's a way you see him. The first thing first is the peace he brings into your life. You'll be so at peace. Daniel chapter 11 verse 32. You know what he says? They that know their God. He says the people that do know their God. The people that do know their God. Which means it's not everybody that knows this God. But the people that know. Daniel 11.32. The people that know. Not everybody knows this God. But the people that know their God. The people that know their God. And as such as do wickedly against the covenant. Shall he corrupt by flatteries. But the people. The people. The people. The person. That do know their God. He shall be strong. One of the attributes you get for knowing God is you'll be strong. It doesn't matter what is pushing you. You are strong. Paul says, I know him whom I believe. I know him whom I believe. That faithful is he that called me. And faithful is he that will do it. Irrespective of what I go through. I know him whom I believe. Which means you, you exhibit strength in the midst of, of, of weakness. You exhibit strength in the midst of lack. You exhibit strength in the midst of scarcity. You are just strong and you don't lose your confession. Because you know him whom you believe. I know that my tomorrow will be better than today. I know. Like I know. I don't care who sits there as the president. Whether he won or he doesn't win. What I know is he's not my God. They that know their God. Not they that know their president. It is the people that know their God. Not the people that know the party. Not the people that know the Senate president. The people that know their God. They shall be strong. That's the first one. And the second one is they shall do exploit. Do you know what it means? They shall have advantage. It means you will have advantage. You will carry an advantage over others. You will outshine others. You may have a gloomy day some days but i tell you something it won't take you out because you know your god lift up your two hands say i know my god that's what i came to show you so you will know your god you will be strong and you will do exploit you will not shake hallelujah i said hallelujah you will know him so when you know him, you exhibit strength. When you know him, you do exploit. So how then do I know this God? Because I want to... Is there anybody you want to know him? Wave like this. You want to know him. Beyond you carrying by me. I, 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 you know, I'm a pastor. And I meet pastors. Sometimes I allow them to talk. And the moment they talk, I just know that this one... This one does not know anything. Doesn't know God. He knows plenty of things, but he doesn't know God. He doesn't know God. How do I know God? Number one, listen. No man has the capacity to know God by himself. 
this God is too big for any mortal to know him. I asked the guy who told me that God called him into ministry. And he told me, I said, so what's the name that God gave you? He said, God chases International ministry. I said, meaning? He said, God chases. You are chasing God. So where is he right now? Is he Korodu or Moe? I said, listen. Don't make this cliche that you people get. God chases. No mortal has the power to look for God. God is too big for any man to search him out. The only thing he does is, if God wants you to know him, he will reveal himself to you. So you know God by revelation. You know God by revelation. John 1.18, put it up. John 1.18, Jesus was speaking. You know what he said? John 1.18. It says, no man had seen God at any time. John 1, 18. No man had seen God at any time. Put it up there. It said, the only begotten son had come to declare him. I love the word declare. John 1, 18. No man had seen God at any time. At any given time, Jesus did not lie. No man had seen God at any given time. The only begotten son, which is in the bosom of the father, he had declared him. Declared. The Greek word is phanero. He came to make him manifest. He came to reveal him to you. Which means you don't have the ability to know God except by revelation. And the only one that God gave the ultimate revelation to come and reveal him to us was Jesus Christ. Jesus is the express image of the Father. Jesus is the very image of God. Jesus came to reveal God. No one else came. The problem with other religion and Christianity is that name, Jesus. The reason they fight Christianity is because of Jesus. And you know one thing? It didn't start today. If you call God, for instance, I give you a very good example. When Neymar Jr., that guy that plays football, that left PSG and is in Saudi Arabia, that guy from Brazil. How many of you know that guy? You know that guy. He lives around some hill. Okay. That guy used to play. He plays football. And when he started, because he was a believer in Jesus, he would have a jersey, a shirt. Customized. So the moment he scores, he will lift it. And what you find is, thank you, Jesus. Thank you, Jesus. So he does that. And one day, when he would sign his new contract, it was said that the owners of the club came to him and some group of business guys told him, they said, listen, we love you as a player. We love what you do. We believe in your religion. But you are going to sign, as you sign this contract, we have a 10 million dollars, 10 million pounds to give, to attach to it. All you need to do is, when next you score, don't lift up that jersey and say, thank you, Jesus. Instead, you can say, thank you, God, even if you want to. So, they don't have a problem with you, God. Frank Edward, which you know, a popular gospel singer in Nigeria, was offered millions of dollars to remove the name Jesus from his song and he just put the name God. You think that the people who came with such deal are stupid? They know exactly what they are doing. They want you to believe that we serve one God. That our God is one. But they don't want you to believe. The Christians believe that our God came in the person of Jesus. That is the difference. 
That is why we are being stoned. So they told Frank Edward, you sign the deal. Take out Jesus from your songs and lyrics and put the word God. After all, it means the same thing. You see, these guys are wiser. And Frank Edward looked at them and said, well, I'm sorry. The song came like that. And Jesus gave it to me and his name is there. So I can't take it out. And they backed out of the place. They left him. Few years after, Frank Edward got more millions of dollars than the ones that they offered him. Which means, if you will say no to the word, Jesus can bless you. Come on here, put your hands together for him. It's Jesus we're talking about. I didn't come here to tell you coconut night, night of coconut. No, I'm talking about a night with Jesus. You need to know him. Jesus is the express image. You know what he said in the book of John? He says no one can come to the Father. Meaning that no one can know the Father except through me, by me. You can unveil him except through me. There is no knowing of God outside Jesus. It is Jesus that will say this is who the Father is. And God sent Jesus and dust him to come and reveal him to us. And that's what I'm showing you tonight. That Jesus came to reveal God. Hallelujah. Give me Hebrews chapter 1. Verse 1 to 2. Hebrews 1, 1 to 2. I tell every sick person here today. If you will catch this revelation that I'm sharing with you. You don't need hands laid on you. You don't need me praying for you. You will just walk out of your sickness. You will walk out of the bed of affliction. You will remove that thing. And just walk out because Jesus makes you well. Are you with me? Paul, the Bible says, was preaching in Lystra in Acts chapter 14. The Bible says as he was preaching, there was a man impotent in his feet. He was sitting down listening. Paul saw the man. The Bible says he had faith. He saw faith in the man to be healed. That means the man so gave Paul the attention that he, all he saw in the man was Jesus being revealed. And Paul walked straight to the man and said, Brother, Jesus makes you whole. And the guy stood up and began to walk. There was no prayer prayed. When you believe Jesus, he will do what he is to do. Tonight, believe him. He is the God that you and I call. The Bible says in the book of John chapter 1, In the beginning was God. In the beginning was the word. The word was with God. The word was God. The same was in the beginning with God. All things were made by him. You can't blame anybody if you go to hell. You can't blame anybody if you don't know God. You will suffer affliction. There's an opportunity now. Jesus is the ultimate revealer of God to our world. All you need to do is to say, tonight, Lord, reveal him to me. And Jesus will come and begin to shed that. We will get to that. Where we will give the opportunity for you to come and understand what I'm talking about. It doesn't matter your age. Don't say this small boy, what is he talking about? Yes, I'm talking about something deeper than you. How old are you? He is the, they call him, you know what he calls himself? The ancient of days. The one who existed before the existence of all things. He is the beginning, never ranked in the beginning, but began the beginning before the beginning began. This God. And somebody's there. How old are you? Maybe 50, maybe 60. I'm talking about one who, who says, I am the Alpha. You know, one man was praying one day. And he said, lift up your hands, everybody. So I was there. I lifted my hand. He said, everything that has a beginning must have an end. There is nothing that has a beginning that does not have an end. Therefore, begin to pray right now. Everything that has a beginning in your life should end. I dropped my hand. The guy looked at me, came close. He said, you are not praying. I said, no. He said, why? I said, because I know one who has a beginning and does not have an end. He is God. He says, I am the beginning and the end. Alpha, Omega. I said, so change your prayer point so we can pray. He said, so what do I do? Because they are already praying. I said, leave them. Let them be praying. Because ignorant men pray when ignorant men raise this prayer point. That's why lawyers call themselves learned colleague. 
When I meet men who are ranked in the same place, they understand. I, I look at them as learned colleagues. Ask someone, are you a learned colleague? <laughs> God, who at sundry times and in diverse manners, spake in time past unto the fathers by the prophet he spoke to abraham he spoke to isaac he spoke to jacob he spoke to samuel he spoke to eli he spoke to isaiah he spoke to jeremiah he spoke to elijah he spoke to elisha all of these men he spoke to king hezekiah using a prophet he spoke to the women at zarephath with a prophet he spoke to different people he manifests through a prophet thus here the lord they knew god by the mount of a prophet so that's what the bible says he he says and in these last days this time where we're living spoken unto us by his son his son jesus whom he had appointed he appointed him he appointed him that means he commissioned him he sent him on an errand he placed him in that charge he appointed him to be heir of all things he appointed him to be heir of all things by whom also he made the world by jesus he made the world Verse 3, it says he's the express image. Who being the brightness of his glory. Jesus is the brightness of God's glory. That means if you want to see the shining of God, look at Jesus. Can you see the way most of you are quiet? It's because what I'm saying is sounding foreign. You are looking at me like I just came back from Yugoslavia. Mba is in this country that you and I are. You are looking at me like, what is this guy saying? This guy doesn't know what he's saying. Because you are popular with most of the messages that are there. The divine hand of God. The divine turnaround God. The God of yesterday. The God of quick marriage. The, the, the end time miracle God. The, the God of extra time. You are on the play ball. The God of late 11th hour God all manner of titles from an african minister the god of now now sharp sharp god shifting messiah onyoko onyoko jesus all of us will be running giddy, 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 giddy. we'll get there only for us not to newton anything we'll buy water buy oil by salt you don't know him brothers and sisters i am telling you you do not know him i came to reveal him when you know him you will be strong when they give you a report you say no no none of these things move us for i know him whom i've come to believe i know the one who lives in me i know him he's the great i am he's the same yesterday kaba is the same today ella is the same forever what he did then he's able to do now if he healed then he will heal today if he blesses then he will bless today if he raises then he will raise today stand on your feet and shout hallelujah No witch should terrify you. No way. No way. No way. No way. Can I tell you something? Jesus told me something. He said, tell them, aside I'm going to heal the ones he's going to heal. That's what he said. He said, tell them, some of them are not suffering from physical sickness. He said, tell them, they will meet on common money. You, di you didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. You didn't hear me. I don't like the way. You didn't hear me. You will meet on common money. On common contract. On common business. That means every Monday, they, maybe they will come and buy one. They will come and buy two. But on a particular Wednesday, they will come. They will look at you and say, listen, what do you have? Can you, can you provide this? And you will say, sir, are you for real? Uncommon, uncommon. It's not common. The year is coming to an end. That you may know that you attended night of beauty. He will remove your ashes and give you beauty. If you believe it, stand up and shout a better amen. I'm hearing a name, Raphael, 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 Raphael. We have not gotten to that section, but I'm hearing this name, Raphael. The Lord wants me to pray for Raphael. You lost your mother, and now 
your father is not feeling fine. Raphael, Raphael, don't worry. As, I, as you begin to hear, Enfe bida ata liga parwa sila ata ketene zebede keti kaparwa sefede ila katana asiu umon kapa dua litasi dua litasi dua litasi vete pila ata nista keperwa te lasta jiba ata nia taraste fretelika paradolam asteli jekete kira skapa we didn't learn we didn't learn this in school Jesus anointed us Jesus 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 I'm hearing da sola, da, da sola, da sola. Pray for da sola, da sola, da sola, da sola, da sola, da sola. Ma kalia talikatanwa aleka toske femi da sola da la tatesto femene bakato kwa la atestede da sola barati fletene. Dasola is pregnant. They want her to give birth through seers. Denetaisto faritenista. It's four months, two weeks. Oh, benetitas tu fede. Can you lift your two hands? Say, Lord, I'm here. I see four months. I see four months. Two weeks, 13 days. Mete teplia tatila. No, three days. Thank you, Lord. Meta compe da sola. Raphael, your mother died. Your mother died. But your father is alive and he's sick. Melakaito koprata. I've not finished my message, oh. I'm still teaching. Obene teplete. Fredele katuste kapiata. Monto. Da sola. They want oppression. But the Lord says no. Tonight we take it out. Mentefli teflete. I need someone to just ask question. So that I can just. Ooh, shulama temene. Somebody lift your hands. Say, Lord, I'm here. Ooh, shalabharana. Ooh, shampatele hedada. Daniel. Who is Daniel? Since you left school, you don't have anything tangible doing. Abele testo frede elata. Daniel, 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 Daniel. Have you? What? I will just lay hands on you. Come close. So I'll finish this message. Hold my hand. Father, in Jesus' name. Thank you, Jesus. Somebody lift your two hands. Say, Lord, I'm here. Lord, I am here. Thank you, Jesus. Let's finish this. So we pray for the sick. How many of you believe there will be miracles here? Do you believe? I said, do you believe? Glory to God. For those who believe, clap your hands. Luke chapter 3, 21. The Bible tells us, Luke 3, 22, sorry. The father is pleased. He said, this is my beloved son in whom I am well pleased. He's not pleased with any prophet like he was pleased with Jesus. Luke 3, 22. He was well pleased with Jesus. He was well pleased with Jesus. He was well pleased with Jesus. John 17, 25. It says, O righteous father, the world had not known thee, but I have known thee. And these have known thee, that thou hast sent me. John 17 25 he said the world does not know you the world does not know you but I know you and I have revealed you to these ones that they may know you also that they may know you 
So what does this knowledge give to you? What does this knowledge of God give to you? In John 14, verse 8 to 10. John 14, 8 to 10. Philip, one of the disciples of Christ, looked at Jesus and said, Show us the Father! Show us! I thought you said you came to reveal the Father. Philip said unto him, Lord, show us the Father, and it suffers us. Show us the Father. If you show us the Father, we'll be fine. This is what you came to do. Therefore, show us the Father. Hallelujah. Verse 9. Verse 9. Jesus replied and said, Jesus said unto him, Have I been so long time with you, and yet hast thou not known me? Philip, he that has seen me, had seen the Father. And how shall, sayest thou, show us the Father? What is this guy saying? Jesus is saying, I am the Father. So when you say, our Father, who art in heaven, eh? it's Jesus. He said, I've been so long that you don't know me. If you have seen me, verse 10, you have seen the Father. Believest thou not that I am in the Father, and the Father in me? The words that I speak unto you, I speak not of myself, but the Father that dwelleth in me, he doeth the works. Somebody say amen. What is Jesus saying? The first thing that happens when you get to know the Father. Through Jesus, the revelation that Jesus brings that reveals the Father to us, there are a couple of things he does. Number one, you will see this. The Father does not condemn. Condemnation is not a message from the Father. Jesus did not condemn. John chapter 3. You know what he says in verse 17. John chapter 3 verse 17. Maybe you are here today and they have told you the reason you are suffering is because of this and this and this. John 3 17. For God sent not his son into the world to condemn the world but that the world through him might be saved the father does not condemn the message of condemnation is never from jesus it doesn't matter what you have done i'm not saying you go back to it but i'm saying that those things will not stop you from receiving from him because he does not condemn you the father does not condemn a woman was caught in the very act of adultery and they picked up stone to stone her. When they saw Christ, they said, the law says this. What do you say? And Jesus, the Bible says, stepped down, began to write. And he looked up and said, if any of you have not sinned, let the person cast the first stone. The Bible says, all of them who wanted to stone the woman dropped the stone and left. And Jesus looked at the woman and said, where are thou accusers? Where are the mouth and the fingers that condemn you? You see, there is no one who had not committed something. I am the only one who had not committed anything. Jesus is the only pure one. So if there's anybody on earth as of that time who has the right to condemn, it was Jesus. And yet he said, go, I condemn thee not, but go and sin no more. The father does not condemn. I've been in the healing ministry for quite some time. And I discovered one of the things that make people seek and not receive is guilt. They condemn themselves so much. I did this, I did that. If I had not done this, maybe this wouldn't have happened. Some of you, maybe you have tuberculosis and it was as a result of smoking. Or maybe there's an infection or something is happening to your kidney or liver because of the drinking, so much drinking of alcohol. Now you condemn yourself all the time and say, well, if I hadn't done this. Or maybe you even slept with a lady you picked somewhere around the Balende. And now you have HIV. And now you're condemning yourself, blaming yourself. If I hadn't gone in with that lady, maybe I wouldn't have contacted this. I tell you something. So long as you still condemn yourself and feel that the father condemns you, you will never receive healing. He does not condemn you. Look at verse 18. Verse 18 of John 3, 17. Of John 3, sorry. Look at verse 18. Glory to God. It says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. Is there anybody you believe? If you believe, lift your right hand. Say, I'm a believer. Therefore, I'm not condemned. I refuse to be condemned. You see, 
The Bible says, he that believeth on him is not condemned. But he that believeth not is condemned already. Because he had not believed in the name of the only begotten son of God. Romans 8 verse 1. There is therefore, Romans 8, 1, there is therefore now no condemnation. How do we preach the gospel in Nigeria, in Africa? You that is wearing trousers, you shall go to hell. You have finished that one. Are you chewing gum in the house of God? You are going to hell woman did you palm your hair and open your ears you are going to hell how do you know all the people the list of the people going to hell are you writing them so you have become a referee for jesus christ you are writing them oh some of you will paint your nails and you will wear tiny trousers and you come to the house of god some of you will put on foundation and makeup you are wearing mary k and you don't have k You are going to hell. Hell is waiting for you. Except you run down and say, Lord, have mercy on me. Then your name will be blushed out of the book of hell. But if you refuse, you shall die and go to hell. For the soul that sinned, he shall die. Ah, see? Oh, guy, ah, see? It's not like that. He that believeth is not condemned. God did not send anyone to condemn. Why are you condemning? Minister of condemnation. Enroll. We don't have it in Nigeria. You need an office. It's not only Lasma. Lasra. You now need to add condemn. Because you are a minister of what? Condemnation. Read the Bible. Therefore, there is now no condemnation to them which are in Christ Jesus. Can you shout hallelujah? Lift your two and say, I'm free. Pastor, are you saying I should go back to drinking? All the while I've been preaching. Did you hear me talk about drink? That's not what I'm talking about. So God does not condemn that's number one number two when you know god you know another thing god is love why are you going to be healed today because love does not permit sickness it doesn't matter the nature all you need to do is, as we begin to worship just lift up your hands and just say lord i'm here the one you loved has come to worship you the one you saved have come to worship you the one you loved have come to worship you Jesus 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 The one you love Has come to worship You know that's why I love that song I took when I came up The one that says you have a track record of keeping your word and you're not about to stop doing now that means if he healed then he will heal now why love he has not changed maybe you came with someone who is sick then you tell him you are my Alone, you are mighty. She be well of fortune, shall she be left for you, shall You were good, you were kind, 
you were more than this just for words trying to describe I hello him are you still there your greatness is all I see <laughs> there is nothing you cannot there's no mountain you cannot if you have said it then you will do it you have a track record ah chai you're not about to stop doing now oh lord walk by you you are mighty helena Lift your hands. Wave it. He loves you. First John 4, 8. He loves you. God is love. He loves you. The reason he wants you blessed is because he loves you. You know that song that says, Okuna huwo ije love mo." Just lift your hands. Tell him, Lord. I know you love me. Because of love. Amaram nige me. Nige me ya kobe de mama. Amaram nige me. Nige me ya kobe de mama. Ababaram nuku obegi na yo amaragie. Amaram kuku obe. Amarakasema. He is God. He loves you. Put up first John 3 8. <laughs> Iba ma se pe moni Jesu ni baba Iba ma se pe moni Jesu ni baba o Ogun aye iba ori mi Jesu lo lagbara atogo Jesu lo lagbara oba atitila Jesu lo lagbara atogo Jesus, no lagbara, oba titila. Mena no bochita. Imena no bochita. Imena no bochita. No bochita. Look at it. He that committed sin is of the devil. For the devil seen it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God, he was manifested that he might destroy the works of the devil. Poverty is one of the works of the devil. Setback is one of the works of the devil. Sickness is one of the works of the devil. Jesus was sent to destroy them. What will he use to destroy them when God sent him? Acts chapter 10, 38. Oh. Meturundu maka obawe O meturundu maka mowe huni obawe Jehovah meturundu maka obawe Aonu monyije kikeboro nuzaya 
Ane chichi Yewe woli lanya Mwe joya Wande miye baleri moya Asina Oli lanya ni ingozi Metuma kagi Chineke Metuma kagi Ezi Asim Ekwe kwa naka Kamdiro tuwa wena Metunu makali Onye Look at it Ekwe kwa naka Kamdiro tuwa wena Ekwe kwa naka Kamburori ake wela Ekwe kwa naka Kamdi rotu awena Betunu makagi Betunu makagi Yekwe kwa laka Kamdi rotu awena Betunu makagi There is power in the name The name Jesus there is healing in the name the name jesus there is deliverance in the name the name jesus there is power in the name jesus <laughs> Oh, you be mad. He came to have a man. Oh, you be mad. Oh, you be mad. Oh, you be mad. Chinke de yengwa. Oh, God, don't put your tongue in my head. Oh, you be mad. Chine yengwa. Wagina lume. Oh, you be mad. I cannot worry. I cannot hold on. If this boy, you be mad. Oh, you be mad. Oh, you be mad. One boy, you be mad. One who you be mad. Who does all you be mad? All you be mad. All you be mad. All you be mad. Why you na lugi? All you be mad. When you ne take him ano? All you be mad. One who you be mad. Okwagi kamja ngure Yego neje mwae Obarana mwae Chuku nebe mwae Iya inebe Iye mwa Unya ina chura Boke mwa Iya inebe Aho Iya inebe Kwa nubi ye mwa Unya ina chura Boke mwa Imani em ne me kwa no bi em mo Eter em ne to kwa no bi em mo Abom na bo kwa no bi em mo Onye na bo ra bo bo ke mo Onye na bo ra bo Onye na chu ra Onya ina chura, onya ina chura, onya ina chura, onya ina. Bring it up. Sit down. I'll show you how that God anointed. It says the devil seen it from the beginning. For this purpose, the Son of God was sent that He would destroy the works of the devil. So how would Jesus destroy it? Is he going to be going and say destroy, 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 destroy? No. The Bible shows us the secret. How God anointed Obinna. Brother, you may not like me. Thank God you did not call me. 
he gave me oil because he shall reign forever for years I've, I've always wanted to permit me to come down i'm not used to Is it because I came down? Bebe. For years, I have always had a problem with that word, how. I think I'm anointed to help this generation to see the how. Because we read it, how God anointed, how. How did he anoint him? How God anointed Jesus? Like how? That's, that's an incorrect statement. It's not complete. How God anointed how? So he's telling us there's a how he anointed him. <laughs> and how he anointed him is different. But if you can catch how he anointed him, you will walk out of whatever. The secret of Jesus destroying the works of the devil is found in how God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. The Bible says he went about doing good. There's a man, you have a low spam count. You have a low spam count. I feel it. You have a low spam count. You have a daughter. Mm. Bom embo ezi chineke egwa bona tunagi. Raimi go si omwemne luwa abo mokune rere. I me go see your women, no one. Nina, How God anointed Jesus. You can't stand for him without the anointing. Listen, you don't fake it. If you don't have it, you don't have it. The reason we bounce and brag is because there's something. You with that low spam count, that condition has come to an end. I know it's shameful for you to come out. You might think that probably some people are going to look at you and think, what kind of man is this? Don't worry. Where you are, Jesus has healed you. And you are not the only one. As we begin to worship, he will begin to take control. How God anointed him with the Holy Ghost and with power. I said I have an issue with the word how. How did he anoint him? That was exactly what Peter was trying to show to us. That his sermon was how God anointed him. With the Holy Ghost and with power. He went about doing good. Healing all those that were oppressed of the devil. The Bible says for God was with him. If God is with me and God has called me, then he should be able to back me up to do the things he has called me for. True or false? Yes, if you can seek, be ready for God is going to heal you right now. If you came troubled, be ready. As we begin to pray, as we will lift our hands and begin to call upon him, 
I want you to be rest assured. Jesus will begin to tear garments of sorrows. He will take things away. He will turn your situations around. And he will give you beauty for ashes. How many of you want that tonight? Wherever you are, do you want it? You want Jesus to do something? Stand on your feet. Can we, can we lift our hands? You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. Sing it with me now. She were Yahweh. This is a crucial time. Just lift your hands. Come. She were Yahweh. Alpha. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. Can we raise our voice and sing it now? Come on. You are Yahweh. Come on, come on, come on, come on, come on. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. You are Yahweh. Yahweh, Alpha. We can do better. Raise your voice. You are, you are, you are. You are, you are, you are. You are Yahweh. Alpha and Omega. You are Yahweh. Alpha. Two more times. Come on. You are, you are, you are. I'm not hearing you. I'm not hearing you. You are Yahweh, Alpha. You are Yahweh, Alpha and Omega. One more time. You are, you are, you are Yahweh. Yeah. You are, you are, you are Yahweh. You are Yahweh, Alpha. You are Yahweh, you are Yahweh, Alpha. 
Everybody lift your hands and close your eyes. Now listen to me. We can make the prayers right now on everyone. Because this knowledge is not in all men. Jesus wants to beautify your life. But there's no way he will beautify your life without you first accepting him. Wherever you are and you have heard that message and you are saying, man of God, I want to accept this Jesus. You are the major reason why we came. Before I begin to pray, one of the hindrances to this kind of prayer is you not having Jesus in your life. I'm going to give you five minutes. Whether you are on that overflow section, the gallery there, or you are on the ground floor, maybe my right or left, I'm going to give you an opportunity. Maybe your friends are here, your boyfriend, your girlfriend, your parents. You don't have to be ashamed. I will call you to come. The moment I say come, don't be ashamed. Come. And you will receive him. Let Pastor Bina lead you to Christ. Let me lead you. Let him, the ultimate God, come into your life. And make your life his abode and home. Wherever you are right now, come. I'll be waiting for you. Come. Jesus is calling you. Come. You don't have to be ashamed. Come. 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 Don't be ashamed. Come. Come. We're waiting for you. Today is a turning point in your life. Come. Come. Whether you have stolen before, don't be ashamed. Come. Come. Sing, I surrender. Come. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. You are the reason we came. Come. Don't allow your life to waste like that. Come. If you are clapping, clap for Jesus for these souls. Come. On to Jesus. Come. The kingdom is rejoicing right now. Come. Come. Don't be ashamed. Come. Keep coming. Keep coming. We're waiting. We're waiting. Keep coming. Keep coming. We're waiting. Keep coming. Don't be ashamed. Make the 17th or the 18th of November a special day in your life. Can we keep clapping for them as an encouragement? Keep coming. I surrender. There's always a first time. There's always a first time. There's always a day. Keep coming. Keep coming. On to Jesus. Blessed Savior. Lift your two hands. Let him see you. Keep coming. Don't worry. Come. Jesus is not condemning you. It doesn't matter what you must have done. Maybe you smoke, you drink, you steal, you have killed before. Jesus is calling you. Come. You are the reason for this. This is the most important and the most beautiful part of this program. You are becoming a saint today. You are becoming a saint today. A saint. His blood will wash and cleanse you. I surrender. There are still few people 
that Jesus is waiting for. Few people, Jesus is waiting for you. Unto Jesus. Where is that one more person that Jesus is waiting for? Where are you? Come, don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Clap for them as they are coming. Don't be ashamed. Don't be ashamed. Your past is over. There's a new beginning with you today. There's a new beginning. If you don't come now, as I pray, I don't know what your faith is. It's no longer tied to me. It's no longer in my hands. I have done my path. It's now left for you and Jesus. Come, wherever you are, come. 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 Come to Jesus. Come. 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 Yes, brother. Yes, brother. God bless you. Come. Come. Today is a beautiful day for you. Your name, your name, the angels will sing with your name in heaven. They will say, this day, so and so came. Glory to God. Thank you for not being ashamed. Now lift your two hands. We are going to sing this song one more time and tell him you surrender. Can we sing it one more time? Every one of you that has come and open your mouth and say, Close your eyes, lift your two hands. You're going to say after me. And I want you to mean what you're about to say now because this is the most important. Even if prayers are not made again, this decision of yours tonight or this morning is the best. Your life has changed. Lift your two hands, say after me. Say, oh Lord God, I believe in you. I believe in your son Jesus Christ. I believe he came to this world for my sake. He was killed. He was buried for my sake. But you raised him up on the third day. Today, I confess with my mouth and I receive the remission of my sins by faith. I receive the gift of eternal life by faith. I declare with my mouth that Jesus Christ is my Lord and my Savior. Your blood has washed me. I am clean. I am saved. I am pure. My spirit is clean today. United with the Father. Thank you for saving me. Thank you for accepting me. I am born again. Thank you, Lord. Now, just keep those hands lifted. I'm going to pray for you now. Father, I thank you. You said in no wise will you reject those who come to you. These ones have come, Father. Thank you for your name have been named upon them. Christ has been named upon them. Your blood has washed this one. Therefore, they are your children. I pray for them today. That Satan's stronghold over their life is hereby broken. In the name of Jesus Christ. Freedom has come to you. There's a new spirit in you now. 
you are a child of God now. And heaven rejoices over you now. In the mighty name of Jesus Christ. Now look at me. This is beautiful. Congratulations. Congratulations. Now. We are going to give you a card. Quickly. Where are the ushers? Give them a card quickly. They are also going to give you a writing material. So it will be easy for you to do that. We have a pen. We have an, a card for you. Then our magazine. You are the reason we came. This is the most important. You know what you have done? That songwriter say, I'll put you in front front of my destiny she were all that matter that's what you have done all right look at me now once you have received the card look at me look at me look at me don't write yet you know what follow these ushers just follow them to that place we'll wait for you go and sit down there feel that card quickly just follow them, please. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. Clap for them, church. Please, just follow them. It won't take more than one, two minutes. We'll wait for you. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all that matters. Oh, way, oh, way. You are all that matters. Oh, way. Ushers, please help them quickly. We are waiting for them. Oh, way, oh. You were all that matter. Oh, way, oh, way. You were all that matter. Oh, way, oh, way. You were all that matter. Oh, way. I thought I saw Uche. Please help Evangelist Uche. Let him go. Celebrate Evangelist Uche. Let him come. Use the other side quickly. Hallelujah. Glory. While we wait for these people who have made the best decisions of their life. Oh, this is a good moment. Happy to be alive to witness this. Bila kabrate frede le kasketanamant. Sodo borodolo bosetanam. Once they are done, we enter another segment. A beautiful segment. Where all things will be made possible. Jesus is still in the business of healing the sea, casting out devils, changing lives and destinies. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you, counselors. Thank you. Thank you for helping them make the best decision of their life. Thank you. Help Evangelist Uche. Glory to God. Can we celebrate Evangelist Uche? He's going to give us some. Now, those of you that just gave your life to Christ and you have that card filled, I have a special meeting with you. I'm giving you my time on Sunday, 2 in the afternoon. You will love it. There will be the mighty hand of God, prophetic like never before. 2 in the afternoon on Sunday in church. Not here, please. Not here. This is not our venue. In church. So those of you that came out, made that decision, gave your life to Christ. I'll be having a meeting with you, special meeting. 
on Sunday, 2 in the afternoon, we're going to be having PPD, Personal Prophecy and Direction, with you. The magazine carries our address, in case you don't know. And there's a call, um, a number there to call for direction. We're still waiting for those of you who haven't filled your card. While we're doing that, Evangelist Uche will just minister in song. It's time for prayers. You are going to pray now. We are going to change the handwriting. Things that the devil has written. Did the Bible not say Jesus came to destroy the works of the devil? Those things will be dismantled. We are going to rewrite them right now. We are going to rewrite them. Man te blede ke du ste plete de du fra. Do klote kredele ke toske frata na malatesto. Bashta la hadaruz de brate faniza alatadia. Thank you, counselors. Thank you, counselors. Volunteers, thank you. Can we be on our, on our feet right now? Let's stand up. It's time. Special worship and prayers. My God. God is going to do something. Now. We bow before you. Just lift your hands. Lift we bow before you. I want to celebrate my father. I want to celebrate my friend. I want to celebrate my own church. Help me celebrate my father. Help me celebrate my friend and brother. Papa, I celebrate you, sir. Sorry, before I, I before we start worshiping God, I want to thank God that finally I'm here. Hallelujah. Praise God. When Papa was talking to me this morning, almost two, three times, Papa insisted that we should get a vehicle and make sure you are here. Are you sure this vehicle will not fail you? I had so confident on the vehicle. Please help me celebrate the grace of my father. I, 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 already I know it. I know Papa is a prophet too, but I believe him more today. He said, Uche, get, get a Sienna bus that will take you people down here. I said, Papa, don't worry. He called me again. I said, Papa, don't worry. The vehicle will not fail me. Suddenly, after 9 to 10, the driver that was supposed to come and pick me just called me. That the vehicle just break down i say no wonder no wonder papa keep calling me over and over let me celebrate god but i knew when papa was talking i kept on telling him papa anyhow i go reach here anyhow i must reach here but finally we finally got a vehicle to get to a the problem i uh, but somehow i finally reach here Emimi mo ese o Shit 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 Emimi mo ese o O na ma na ma na ma na ma na ma sa Emimi mo ese o Emi o wo wo ni Ile ta ni o ta pa pa ta ni sa Ite te 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 ta ni o ha da O na ma na ma na na shi ka pa pa ta ni Emimi mo Yes, Emi Awoli. Adam Mama Bawo Yemami. Oba Tocha Emi Ni Emi Ni. Eku Bula Na Tomi Na Eku Titi. Ato Baja Ye O Taru Papa Tobe Gyo Koya. Oba Tobe Kaya Tobe Bato Wa O Kaya Tobe. Gabi Ahosio. Gabi Ahosio. Who is like you, Lord, in all the earth? Much less love and beauty and as what? Ah, 
Nothing in this world will satisfy me. Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Shania. <laughs> Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Hey. Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Hey. Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Ah, I said, Jesus, you are the cup that will run dry. Miracles will happen. Your presence. Just lift your hands. In your heaven. To me, <laughs> Ababa Daddy, your presence is heaven. In the middle of the call, in Sania, oh, Anna, in Copala Shadi, Aya, in Natu Paladane, when they get the Costuka, in Ashadia, Shadia, Shadia, the Blue, and the Pete de Copa. Well, let us say, can we just do this in the Holy Ghost? In the Father,
Oh, 
Lord be thanked. Love our myself. You know the ah. Your mess. Lift your hands. Lift your hands. Miracles are happening right now. Wherever you need a miracle, put your hand there. Put your hand there right now. Put your hand there right now. For every devil of sickness, Shaya, devil of disease, Shaya, every spirit of insanity. I come out right now. I come out devils of sickness. Devils of disease. Devils of insanity. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. If it's in the blood, put your hand round your body. Right now. Right now. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Oh, Put your hand where you need a miracle. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Expect something to happen now. Expect something to happen now. Expectation is the mother of all miracles. Expect something to happen now. If you couldn't walk, put your hand on your leg. If you came with someone blind, put your hand there. If the person is deaf, you put your hand in the ears of the person. If you came blind, put your two hands on your tummy. If you can see with one eye, put your hand on the one that cannot see. If someone came with a crutch, yes. tell the person expect a miracle now. Incurable diseases, cancer, diabetes. What name is it called? Put your hand there now. Put your hand there now. Put your hand there now. Put your hand where you need a miracle. Right now, right now. Put your hand there. Now put your hand there. The easiest sickness or disease to heal is the one that has a name. What name did they call it? I rebuke tuberculosis. Ouch! That heaviness in your heart. Healed. Put your hand there. Put your hand there right now. Put your hand there. My God is not dead. He's the same yesterday, today, and forever. He's still in the healing business. All he requires from you is to believe. I will do the prayers. You will do the believing. And Jesus will do the healing. The Holy Ghost is in the atmosphere. Put your hand there. Put your hand there. Mentombre delicata. Put your hand there. Close your eyes. As I begin to pray, I want you to open your mouth and respond. The moment we say in Jesus' name, you will shout, Amen. That demon is coming out. 
that devil is coming out in the name of Jesus in the mighty name of Jesus in the name of Jesus thou devil of darkness thou devil of infirmity you strange sickness of pains spirit of blindness spirit of deafness spirit of paralysis pains in the bone cancers ulcers come out in the name of Jesus out in the name of Jesus come out in the name of Jesus come out of their bones come out of their ears come out of their eyes leave their bones leave their hearts come out of their blood in the mighty name of Jesus those of you suffering affliction whatever that was caused injected into your body by disease by witches by wizards by the occults right now in the name of Jesus I command that thing to leave your body leave their hands in the name of Jesus leave their legs in the name of Jesus come out of their hearts come out of their lungs come out of their eyes come out of their ears come out of their brain you tumor I command you to die you swelling I command you to die you ulcers I command you to close up you wounds I command you to close up you swelling I command you to go down you pains I command you to disappear in the name of Jesus what name is he called where did you get it from is it in the blood is it HIV is it diabetes is it cancer is it leukemia what is the name what is the name what is the name open your mouth right now begin to command them to leave your body right now begin to command them to leave your body is it barrenness tell them to leave right now there's authority in the atmosphere speak to that body speak to that condition right now right now right now leave their body in the name of jesus open your mouth begin to speak to that body speak to that leg tell the leg you will walk you will walk you will run tell the eye you see you see you will read tell the ear you will hear you will hear open your mouth say to yourself the affliction has come to an end no more no more affliction 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 thou spirit of death I curse you in the name of Jesus every demon every devil every witch every power that is not of God in this ground I command right now lose 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 those bound by witches those bound by Mary those bound by demons wherever they are I command right now lose 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 there are some sicknesses caused by witches some were injected into people's body some strange coughs started on our way you don't know how they started you went to the hospital and they told you it's cancer now put your hand there I said put your hand there my Jesus will dip his hand into your body he will remove that thing he's removing it today he's removing stroke 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 he's removing stroke weakness of the heart he's removing he's removing signs of stroke go in the name of Jesus there's a woman here you feel heavy weight around your waist you are a lady you're not married but it looks as if you are married because you look plumpy that waist that waist 
where there's load malate kaskufarata i command that weight be gone in the name of so jesus say yes. Say yes. now i'm still coming to that section where i'm going to lay hands on those people that are sick but right now check yourself it is time to do what you could not do before if you couldn't walk begin to walk take that step somebody's walking by your side somebody's walking by your side if you couldn't see see right now as you see that please begin to let us know what the lord is doing we want to hear what jesus is doing right now we want to hear we want to hear with a shout ovation clapping ovation let us know what jesus is doing if you couldn't walk before begin to walk if you couldn't hear test the person let's know if the person is hearing now do what you could not do before say yes say yes begin to thank you do what you could not do before quickly 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 i'm here to tell you if you couldn't walk you couldn't see you couldn't move do it right now do it right now do it right now, it right now. the rest of us lift your hands begin to thank him right now yes uche continue now let's magnify him if you couldn't move do what you could not do if you couldn't turn turn if you couldn't see see if you couldn't hear hear if you couldn't move move right now jesus has done something yes 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 I want to hear what the Lord is doing right now. She did it in the Portis Capala than a tetutu and the Zubrini Sakia, Savana dia, and the Spada Cosada. Celebrate Jesus, Sudiana, Sadabata diana, Sipene de Canata, and the Kiri Capala, Toha, 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 and the Pene 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 Payata, and the Sadia. Run, 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 run,
Jesus and over her pastors who are taking them. Tell them to exercise. Do what they couldn't do before. Get their testimonies. I want to hear. Elata Palata Ayata Abaralu Ambeo Nibi Bayo Obewa Fo Obewa Sale Awalu Ambeo Lori Ayemi Everybody lift your hands right now. Lift your hand. She believes. Oh, I, I, and I go. Come. Yes. They want to kill you. Thank God you came. Here. You don't have anything doing. And this is depression. Ah. Yeah. This is depression. Bring it. Bring that. Please let the pastor stand. Let the pastor stand. Let the pastor stand. Let the pastor Lift your hand. 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 Stand up. I stand up. I I I Lift your hand. Just. Now, listen, church. I think trying to go inside is a little bit difficult because of the sound. We have multiple testimonies from that end. They are compiling them. There's a lot of people walking. There's a woman. There's a woman that came with your your praise, stomach praise. is swollen. That thing is cancer, but they told you it's cancerous, but they think it's fibroid. That woman, she's under a strong unction. That thing is coming out. Is drying off. It's drying up. Okay. Power of the Holy Ghost. You're Lead a crack test of Father It's not fibroid. This is cancer. Huh? Since when? 2009. 2009. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. And I will be bleeding when they start. I will be bleeding so hard. Blood will finish all my body. I can't walk again. All my, all my family have rejected me. They reject me. They reject me. They reject me. I see in the red spirit, this is not fibroid. Because they told you it's fibroid. Yes. You have taken a lot of concussion. Yes, sir. Not just medicine, concussion. Yes, sir. A lot of concussion. Yes, sir. Yes, sir. A lot of hair mixed with things. And the more you take it, it gets worse. Yes. I see this is cancer. And this is around the ovary. Your womb is messed up from what I see. Oh, Jesus. But the power of God is upon you. And there's a burning sensation. Your waist is burning you, right? 
upon you. There's an the operation name. going yes, on. Sir. Ah. Yes, sir. This is coming yes, to an end. It's yes, coming sir. to an end. Oh, shalabrante. Hold on. Hold on. Hold on. Out! You devil. Out! This is not God. Somebody lift your hand. Some of you have parents that are sick. Siblings that are sick. Loved ones that are sick. But you are on this ground. I send healing to your homes right now. I send healing to your homes right now. I send healing to your homes right now. In the name of Jesus. Be strong. You still have more time on earth. You will reap a reward. Huh? Yes. They denied you something. Huh? But the Lord is saying you will reap it. Uh, so tell your children, family, everybody should relax. Are you with me? You still have... Forget the dreams of dead people you are seeing. It has no meaning. Somebody lift your hands. I may not be able to touch everyone. Out! Why are you empty? You are empty. Eh? Yes, sir. I don't have time. I have plenty of people. You see? If I can come to you. I see you live very far. Huh? Yes, sir, yes, sir. You live far. But this is, you are empty. A yeah. spirit has been running your life like this for eight years. Yes, sir. Empty. Oh, yeah. yes. huh? It's true, sir. Good. Somebody lift your hands. I know my ready money. I know you, it's not my promise. Every member of me, any member of your family that is, sick, that is sick, that is sick, that is sick. I send healing in the name of Jesus. Healing in the name of Jesus. Sagi boye dielu, boye dielu, boye dielu. Sagi boye kwesi ekili jiribia. So keep on yelling, yelling, Your heart will not fail. Shabala banana na na kosi bridge. Ede kubana na na sosa bala dastish kipili kaya. Ela cleaning kapala na sota na dish kapala disha. Ele balana na zozo bele de dia ka karadish kibi kanania ka banana na so dadada emende mene nene ne so sapa dadada bada eh that's a spirit of ko adi ko ye ka dise leave that woman leave her leave her leave her the lord is working on ishiri ke esiao Hey. Bring those ladies for me. Oh, God. Oh, God. Big things come. They pass you. The little ones come to you. You are taking disgrace and shame. They are disrespecting you. You are not where you are supposed to. Lift your hands. I pray for you. 
That's our That's a cameraman. There was a burial in the family. Sometime in. Tengo. Because it's coming from that. Free from today. And progress. Everybody lift your hands. I declare over you. Beauty in the name of Jesus. Beauty in the name of Jesus. Beauty in your finance. Beauty in the ministry. Beauty in your job. Beauty in your family. In your career, beauty. In your family, beauty. Beauty all around you. Beauty everywhere. Beauty, beauty. In the name of Jesus. I said beauty. You came for night of beauty. May your life be beautified. May your story be beautified. Amen. Now, every one of you, you are going to take five steps. Because five is the number for grace. You are going to move five steps. I prophesy as you obey that instruction. I let everything that is static in your life move yes. to this morning. In the name of Jesus. Yes. Right now, move. Take five steps. I am. Let your testimonies begin to roll. Lift your hands, lift your hands, lift your hands. Where's your husband? Call your husband. Somebody lift your two hands. Because I don't see this home. But I see a man. And I don't see a home. Are you together? Are you together? Yes, sir. Ah, you will need to see me. Both of you will see me. This is not looking good. It's not looking good. I declare, your business will not be static. Uh. You have taken five steps. Therefore, in the name of Jesus Christ, grace is speaking for you. Grace is speaking for you. Grace is speaking for you. <laughs> Lift your hands. Manti kaluka sketakli to kaparato fleata nasta. Enkrestu krata la parate leveto. Ligrasta farata nisto frata. I see 370 persons here. A testimony is waiting for you by Thursday. If you can celebrate him, begin to receive it. 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 No more. Every time backwardness. I worship. Bring this girl for me. I want to speak to this girl. Bring that lady to you. Bashita Lama. Somebody lift your two hands. Go back to your seat. I was out. Out. Look at me. You have never been to this ministry before. No, sir. Huh? No, sir. Somebody brought you. Yes, sir. Okay. It's not you I want to pray for. Because I'm hearing the sound of siren. Wah, 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 they are going. And I looked at the siren. I see coffee. I looked inside the coffee. And I see a woman. 
I looked at this woman and I see your mother. Yes. I see your mother. She's down with serious sickness for some time now. Yes, you sir. people have spent money, spent money, spent money, and she's not getting better. Yes, sir. Now, true or false? Now, true, sir. If they cannot ask, I'm talking to you. If they cannot, it's not one day for the sickness. Your mother used to do petty business. Huh? Somebody projected something that has refused to heal. They keep moving her from one place to the other, from one place to the other, from one place to the other. Jesus. The person has vowed that this person must surely go down. Surely go down. Can we stretch our hey. Yes, sir. Ibo warrior, mo o o warrior. Wagi guaro mo ni riti bia. Ibo chat. Can you? Angameza na kompanyon. Oye mo. I'm praying that your mother be healed. I'm praying distance is not a barrier. I'm praying that your mother be healed. Libra Tastefatena. Can we lift our hands? Yes, it is good. I'll keep dreaming. You know, I'm going to go Something good is happening. You will look for me and give this testimony. Huh? There's something you are pursuing. It has opened. Somebody lift your two hands. You take one step forward. Today it ends. Today it ends. Somebody lift your hands. We're praying for that man. The mother will not die. Somebody lift your hand. Bring it. Can you stretch your hands towards me? I see businesses that are tied down for months. It has not progressed. It has not yielded any fruit. Today, because you came for night of beauty, may that business be beautified. Your amen is not loud enough. Receive beauty upon your business. Beauty upon your business. In the name of Jesus. You know, your mother's sickness has affected your business. Huh? Not only you, Jesus. We shall hear this testimony. Lift your hands. You be my God. Oh, Lift your hands. Close your eyes. Can we worship five minutes? You Would you give us that God. verse? Oh, you are too much. You be my God. Oh, Those of you on that God. section, oh, I pray oh, as you lift your hands. May the God of signs and wonders visit you. There shall be miracle galore. Testimony galore. 
in the name of Jesus. I see doors opening for you. I see invitation coming for you in the mighty name of Jesus. They will call you, they will call you, they will call you, they will call you, they will call you. Receive it now. In the name of Jesus, embargoes are lifted. Uche waits, Uche waits. Bullets. Yes. They shoot you bullets. No, no bullets carry me come. Oh, bullets carry you come here. Yes. You know if you work out before. Uh, yes. But I you the worker now. Yeah. Mama say I don't the worker. Wow, wow. Somebody celebrate yes. Jesus. Lift your hands. Something is happening wherever you are right now. Lift your hands. I see someone you couldn't see with your right eye Thank right you. eye. Oh, check it now you can see you can Thank see you. you can see now i want to hear you i want to hear you oh because of time we might not be able to take all the testimony but i want to hear that one yeah. i hope the pastors and leaders are compiling the testimonies we have a lot there lift your hands right now wherever you are wherever you are Uncommon, 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 uncommon miracles. Yeah. Uncommon, uncommon, yeah. uncommon, uncommon yeah. miracles. Yeah. Jesus said he would give yeah. uncommon money. Uncommon money. Yeah. Uncommon money. Receive it now. Yeah. Uncommon opportunity. Receive it now. Yeah. Receive it now. Yeah. Open your mouth. Say, I receive uncommon yeah. grace. Yeah. Uncommon, uncommon, uncommon. Open your mouth. Yeah. Begin to pray now. Yeah. Begin to pray now. Begin to pray now. On common favor. Open your mouth and pray. On common grace. You need anointing. 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 You they will hear your story they will hear your story they will hear your story before you get home something is happening something is happening something is happening something is happening in your family in your business something is happening something is happening Later, such a caparata before not to Lagabara Sakatana Bakoro Sephrata. Open your mouth and pray, pray. Of common grace and favor. Of common grace and favor. Of common grace and favor. On common grace and favor. Man of God, we have a miracle here. Where? Where are we? Over here, over here, sir. Okay. Yes. This lady came here, said she couldn't see well. She couldn't see. With which eye? Which of the eye? With right eye. The right eye. I particularly was seeing that miracle. I wanted to hear it. But now, can you see clearly with it? Close the left one. Close the left one. I can see one. You can see. Yeah. What am I doing? We are waving, sir. Are you sure I'm waving? Yes. Sir. Are you sure? Yes, sir. Are you sure? Yes. Sir. What did I do now? We are waving at I'm waving at you. Yes. Sir. To go home. Yes, sir. And you want to go? Yeah. Somebody shout hallelujah. God bless you. God bless you. We we'll record that. Please. I want to hear. There are testimonies. What has the Lord done? You couldn't move. It's to five, I know. I, I want to release you because some of you need to get to work but i need to say so many things before i leave you sit down please be finding them be finding them be finding them i want to say a couple of things before we go 
Now, this is the first thing I want to do. You are going to take a seat and run down to this altar. Just put it. Are you with me? That's the first thing. This ministry is not money minded. No. This is our culture. You just take a seat and you run. We usually um, honor altars and say, Lord, thank you for what I've seen, what God has done. How many of you know Jesus has done something? No, 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 no. I'm not seeing your hands. You believe he has done something? Wave it. Wave it. Wave it. Don't worry. 2024 Night of Beauty will be more, 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 more powerful than this. We, we, we had a lot of... There were a lot of stress. Uh, but we have learned our lesson. Thank you, Jesus. We have learned. Tell someone we have learned. We learned. Pastor, I've learned something. So, the name of the Lord be glorified. Hallelujah. Now, take your seat. Take that seat. Father, they are going to plant something on your altar. Let it produce miracles for them. In the name of Jesus Christ. Wherever you are, come. Come and put it on the altar. Come. Don't touch the wires. Just drop it and go. Drop it and go. Something is working for you. Just believe as you put it there. What you are doing is spiritual. Just believe. The God of miracles. Somebody help me say. Just believe, just believe. Just believe, just believe. Please my God, another one of you.
Those people going. Come. Why am I seeing this lady in the hospital going through different tests upon test upon test upon test upon test? Whatever, come, come close. Anything that will make you not to have a child of your own. Lift your two hands. Today it is broken. Hallelujah. Praise God. You know, the very first program I had that I had to rent instrument in my life. The man that rented me that instrument, I saw him. Where is he? I saw him. Where is he? <laughs> Chai. How are you, sir? Wow. Are you surprised? Are you happy? I'm happy. You are happy? Yes, I'm happy. <laughs> the very first instrument I used in my life, he was the one that helped me. Many, 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 many years ago. Look at him. Still here. He saw me. I know he must have been telling people. I know that one. Huh? Yes, yes. <laughs> Pastor Obina. They say they do juju. Say not juju. No be juju. I beg. They don't take. Wave your hands. May the Lord prosper you. In Jesus' name. Now listen. Sit down. Where, that man that came with that, that couldn't breathe with that. We want to hear what the Lord has done. Where is the brother? He, could, he came with an oxygen tank. Where's the tank? Lift the tank. He couldn't breathe without it. Now he's walking. Let's see the tank. Who will carry it for us? I want to... Are you just watching like that? Go and tell them that God is still alive. The same yesterday, today, and forever. This is what they escorted a, a man with. A human being. They had faith. Because I don't know if I have this kind of faith. To risk it and bring someone with this thing from the hospital. I don't know how they permitted them. That's how they bought it. You, you bought it. Wow. Look at his hand. You could see that the thing is all connected. But now he's breathing and he's walking. Walk. Walk. Is that how you're going to celebrate and give thanks to Jesus? Please, Pastor Chris, as God that we want to hear. There's no time. He said he came with cancer of the lung. This is Jesus. There are a lot of them that walk there. A man told me he couldn't walk with his two legs. He was, he's walking. He said, I can walk. Oh. 
I saw a guy in this place with a walk. Jesus now go bacha on go go. Can we dance five minutes? Let's dance for this one. Ruth Yamalu. Shida. Boya. Shidi bidi 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 bidi. Boya na. Boya. Bada bada. Bada bada. Bada bada. Bada. Iya na na wa. Shida kana ye bada. Boya na na ya kila ya di bada tu bo. Sit down, five back corner. Aka woke agala. Put your hands together for Jesus. Now, I'm inviting all of you to our Sunday meeting. It's called Power Sunday. This Sunday, that's tomorrow. You don't want to miss it. The gifted house. All road leads to gifted house. Where is the venue? Just very close to the good land. If I call. Before Ugudu. Express. Two. Eric Omobode. The Seaflow Estate. It's off Eric Omobode. You will see the gifted house. Just put it there. Or you ask anybody around that place. I'm going to Pastor Bina's church. The man will not agree. They will bring you. On Sunday, the time is 8 a.m. I'm specially inviting you. We, we couldn't do so much. Our all, I not agree. So you need to attend. Hallelujah. If you know agree, we'll go agree for you. I want to take time to welcome once again our guest in the likes of um, Prudence. Put your hands together for her and her team. Because most times, if you only mention prudence and didn't put the team, the team might think that they didn't do anything. You did a lot. Wait. Get and my one and only, Evergreen Uche Kings, put your hand together. Now, the pastors of Giftings Church, the leaders of Gift. There are some of you that work tirelessly. Some of our pastors had to change inside this venue because they couldn't go home. Some of them have not had nice time sleeping for the past one month. Just so we could have this. I want to thank all of you. The media team. My God. This is our dance. This is our Luchi that troubles. Bro Charles and, and Bro Chijoke and um, Chidema. All of you guys have been awesome. The Tonys, the choirs, the amazing sister peace. My God, you guys are good. May the Lord multiply and increase you. Together, together, 
we will watch and do great things for the Lord. Don't forget, write it down. Soon, it's O2 we are going to. I've told you before. And there's nothing that will change it. Jesus Christ the same yesterday, today and forever. Our student leaders, those of you that work, Lasu, Unilag, Yabatek, or those of you that coordinated people all the way from other states, may the Lord bless you. I love you more than you love yourself. But I have to let you go. At this point, we have to now release you so that you can go. Some of you need to go to work. You need to catch one hour sleep. This is my culture. I don't do all, um, we don't do all night till about six and seven. No. I, that's why I love Pastor Deboye. By 12, one, two, he has closed. If you don't want to go, you climb the pulpit. So they start very early. So I think that's a very good method. But that's in the camp, so you are secured. Because if you close by two, how will people go home here now? So that's why at least five, I see vehicles moving now. So that means we can go home. Now, those of us that parked, that got our buses. Oh, Sister Juliet, Apostle, Evangelistic Evangelist. May the Lord bless you. All of you, my beloved Kemi and success. Mwah. May the Lord continue to bless you. Ogijo brethren, you guys are wonderful. Where, who have I forgotten? If I've forgotten, it's not intentional. On Jephuna time. Don't, don't put it to heart. Amen. Amen. Thank you, my D. My D. D for Director of Defense. You guys are always there and awesome. Thank you so much. Thank you so much. I love you guys. Can we be on our feet right now? Let's be on our feet. First, before I bless you, I want you to go to five person and say, hope you are blessed. Ask them a question. I've not seen Pastor Joy, Pastor Esther. Where are they? They need to come and help on the other side. So we we'll need pastors that will help with this. Clear this. I think Sister Oluchi can help. That means you have to climb there. Hallelujah. Hold the hand of someone. Hold the hand of someone. In blessing, may you be blessed. In progress, may you progress. In peace, may you have peace. In success, may you succeed. In all things, may you be blessed. In protection, may the Lord protect you. May his arm keep you. May your children be kept, be protected. In the name of Jesus Christ, the God of all peace will garrison your heart and he will be with you. In the name of Jesus, all you have received today, you will not lose. And I release the potent prayer upon you. May the Lord go before you. May he go ahead of you. In the name of Jesus. And it shall be well with you. In Jesus name. Let's share the grace. One, two, go. May the grace of our Lord Jesus Christ. The love of God. The sweet fellowship of the Holy Spirit. Be with us now forever. In Jesus name. Surely. His goodness and mercy shall follow us. All the days of our lives, we shall dwell in the house of the Lord forever in Jesus' name. Now we have a prophetic confession with you. Open your two hands. Listen. 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 One of the things that make life and the gospel sweet is money. Satan does not want believers to have money. And I, Pastor Bina, I refuse it. I hate poverty. Poverty has no brother. A, a poor man does not have an association. There's no association of poor men. It's rich men you see. Billionaire's club. Rich man's club. You don't see po po poor people's club. It doesn't exist. Therefore, I pronounce that you shall have money. The next time we come in here, your own car will fill this place. Now open your two hands. Shout it. Say, money come to me now. Again, money come to me now. Again, money come to me now. Now, I'm going to say at the end of the day, you will say, bringing out. No, no, at the end of the day. I can't hear you. The Lord is what? All right. Open your hands again. At the end of the day, for the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. For the Lord is good. 
Hold the hand of someone when I say giftings. You will say bringing out the gift in you. Giftings. 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 Help me look for three people. Say the Lord has blessed you. Let's hear your testimony. God bless you. God bless you. Thank you for coming. Thank you for coming. See you on Sunday. Thank you. The time is 8 a.m. God bless you. Woo! Uche. Oye, buwa, chigembe.